What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and happy 2016. If you didn't hear me say it by now, if you didn't watch me say it by now, we got a couple of hot topics that everyone's been asking me to discuss, so I'm going to do so. The first thing, I, I know a lot of you dudes have seen this, but you want to hear my opinion on it, so I'm going to put it out there. You've probably noticed also that I've actually been gone for the last few days. I've been working on a high profile project that I'm hoping will be out today. No guarantees though, it's taken a lot of work, but um, I figured until then we can definitely talk about some other stuff. And this stuff is hot off the press. I mean, I think this article came out yesterday, so let's take a look real quick. It involves our daddy, Sakurai. You know, I, I'm in love with this man, by the way, man. I, I, I was about to say, let me see a one in the chat, but this is not live. Let's fucking go to the browser real quick. Let's check out exactly what's going on. Like I said, many of you have seen this before. I'm probably late to the goddamn punch, as usual, but hey, whatever. Let's get into this right now. Smash Bros. creator Sakurai confirms he's working on the next project. And I didn't read this article. I wanted to share my first time reaction with you guys. It's been a little while since we've gone through a, New York, a news article. In fact, I feel like this is the first news article of 2016 that we've ever done. So, yeah, remember this moment, I suppose. Let's take a look at exactly what's going on here. So, we are all dying. Oh, and by the way, this is from my Nintendo News. It will be linked in the description. Go give those guys some love. You know, they, they've been giving the articles that we've been reacting to. And they've just been losing our minds to for the past, like, what, two years? So, I mean, hey... But I'm looking forward to this one. 2016, let's go. We are all dying to know what Smash Bros. creator Masahiro Sakurai is working on next. You're goddamn right! Like I've said beforehand, I wouldn't mind if he took on the next F-Zero project, but I mean, that's that's high hopes right there. You know, that's high hopes. Maybe he's working on the next Kid Icarus. Anyways, sadly, we are no closer to finding out, but he has confirmed in the latest edition of his weekly Famitsu that he has already started work on his next project. The news was part of a feature where Japanese creators share their 2016 ambitions and plans. Here's what Daddy Motherfucking Sakurai had to say. Wait a minute, what? Sora, Masahiro Sakurai, Smash Bros. Kid Icarus. I want to enjoy every day like it's Sunday. However, that doesn't mean the next job hasn't been decided. And that's it? That's as, that's as, that's as simple as it is? You, you dudes kept sending me this article. You kept making me say, like, oh man, he must announce something huge. It's three lines? Is that, is that even three lines? It's two lines! Come on, my boys. Of course he's working on the next project. This isn't something that I feel like should be surprising to you guys. He said it himself beforehand. I need to disband the Smash team. We all gotta work on some next level stuff, and Daddy Sakurai is definitely going to be on that. I mean, but then again, I know some of you are probably surprised because it seems like the man went through a million trials and tribulations with the Smash Brothers development. This dude seemed like he was busting his ass open. And then plus, I remember he had some condition with his hand at some point, so he had to slow down his workflow to be able to compensate for that. It's crazy. Um, a lot of you guys have been telling me, yo, Daddy Sakurai is the hardest working game developer on earth. And while that can be debated on some conditions, I still think he's definitely one of the hardest working out there. Maybe not the hardest, but I mean, th there's been some people that are struggling right now. But he definitely works fucking hard. So, I mean, I guess it's surprising to hear that rather than take a vacation after coming up with all this DLC, the dude's working on his next project. But then again, if you're a game designer the way Sakurai is, or if you're somebody who's indie, like, you know, even somebody who works for yourself, like me or whatever, you're always working. It's a constant thing. You never stop. So it's in his blood, man. He's a gamer at heart. So whatever. That's part of his craft, I suppose. But anyways, this is not a surprise. Um, now, in terms of stuff that you would like to see him work on in the future, you gotta let me know because almost anything that Daddy Sakurai touches becomes instant gold. I mean, besides Kirby Air Ride, but I mean, there were still a lot of great attributes from that game that he incorporated into other ways with other titles. And personally, I would not mind if he made a Kid Icarus Uprising 2 or some other Kid Icarus title to add on to the previous one that he did because the last one, I know a lot of you didn't play it, a lot of you slackers, me, I was all over that handheld shit, but I mean, a lot of you slackers didn't play that Kid Icarus. That game is immaculate from start to finish. I mean, I'm surprised that it could be played on the 3DS, and this is the 3DS back in the day, not even like it's a new 3DS or whatever. He made a game like Kid Icarus Uprising work on that bitch. The multiplayer was insane, and I even mentioned the multiplayer as sort of having a really big Smash Brothers feel to it. Even though it was on a 3D plane, that game's multiplayer was still dynamic as hell, and something well worthy of Sakurai's name on it. Hey, if you haven't tried out Kid Icarus Uprising by now, it's an old game, but it's aged goddamn well. That game is timeless. Go give it a try. Now, we also have to talk about 4chan, Sega, Sanic, and some other stuff like that. This morning, I don't know if it was exactly this morning. Was it this morning exactly? 
It was yesterday. Okay, so we were a little bit late to the punch with this whole thing too, but a lot of people wanted me to talk about this to mention it briefly. Some of you guys who are older here may know your boy has a thing for Sonic, and not in that way. You know, no furry type shit over here on the EWN. Um, no offense to my furry niggas out there. I know you guys exist, but I mean, I ain't into that, okay? Just letting you know. But I, I do have a passion for Sonic. This is something that I was heavily incorporated with back in the day. Um, I was part of the um, Sega Sonic Radio DJ team. I was a big member on the Sonic Stadium message boards. I was part of the staff there at one point. I helped to organize Summer of Sonic 2010. I was deeply involved with Sonic stuff. So when there's somebody who comes onto 4chan claiming to be a Sega executive or someone who works at the higher ups of Sega or somebody that works at Sega in period who knows about these projects and then they claim that they left the job and they have inside information, it pikes my interest a little bit. It makes my penis stand up just a little bit. Let's take a look at exactly what's going on here. I'm not going to read through the whole thing. I'll kind of just give you guys a quick little breakdown of exactly what this details. So, um, what's up, V? It didn't happen on fucking random. So points for that. <laughs> I just quit my job as a, excuse me. I just quit my job as a QA drone at Sega, and none I was none too pleased with how they treated me. Therefore, I have some Sonic 25th anniversary spoilers. If you guys don't know, Sonic the Hedgehog is my age. He was introduced to the world the same year that I was born. So I mean, I got a lot of attachment to the little blue bastard because of that too. Anyways, so the whole post, I'll have this all linked in the description. The thread is archived, so you won't be able to, I mean, excuse me, so you will be able to find it. It won't just disappear like a lot of 4chan threads do. This thread details apparently that there are two Sonic games in development. One of them is a Sonic Adventure 3. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I mean, this guy could have at least tried to put something credible looking up here. Obviously, if you don't know the myth of Sonic Adventure 3 by now, it's something that the Sonic community, or at least a small portion of them, have been desiring for years, and it's never come to fruition. Although, in my honest opinion, I feel like 2006 was Sonic Adventure 3, but that's debatable. You can have a differing opinion. A lot of people do. I don't even think Kobe thinks that Sonic Adventure 3 was 2006, so whatever. Either way, the game is apparently being worked on by Sega right now, according to this executive, and don't worry, we have proof to show you guys <laughs> later on in this thread. But yeah, apparently Styx is also playable in Sonic Adventure 3, according to this Sega drone, who, why would a drone even know that kind of information in the first place if it's highly top secret, confidential, um, being worked on by the uh, higher ups at Sega? I mean, it's kind of weird, but uh, on top of everything else, Styx from Sonic Boom being incorporated into a regular Sonic title, I don't think it's gonna happen, although it is Sega at the end of the day, it is Sonic Team. They could potentially decide to incorporate the two universes together, but I certainly hope they don't, um, if this is even real. Uh, and then they mentioned something about the other 2D game. I'm not really giving this one too much credit or too much respect to even read through much of it on camera with you guys, because I already read through all of it myself. You can check it out yourself, but it's basically proven fake at this point. This guy, obviously now, if he has a claim as big as this, everyone's asking for the proof. We want to see pictures. We want to see some kind of identification that lets us know that you were a member at Sega. And so he gives us this, another thread and a picture of his apparent work ID, which is not really Mosaic that hard. I mean, if you were somebody who knew this guy while working at Sega and you saw this picture, you could probably identify who he was based on that shitty Mosaic. I mean, look at the pose. I mean, obviously you can see the skin tone, you can see his head outline, you can see the shirt. It's not really that well of a job there. He also mosaic something at the top right, and um, he left all the details at the bottom. There's a number all the way at the bottom right, which apparently is a zip code, as a lot of people have been saying. But don't worry, even this has been speculated to be fake, and in fact, probably has been proven fake by now. But there's a couple of posts after this, and everyone's obviously asking this guy for a timestamp. We want to know, if you really are somebody who worked at Sega, we want to see something. So he gives us a timestamp, but for some strange reason, he has the card to the side, and something about the card just doesn't look right. The aspect of it, like the aspect ratio of it in comparison to itself, it, it just looks distorted. So he has the high V. Um, this was uh, two days ago. Oh no, excuse me, one day ago. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see here, something just doesn't feel right. So obviously, everyone's taking these images, they're breaking them down, they're trying to see if there's any kind of discrepancy within the image data itself. Or uh, somebody found a picture of, you know, th this thread is, by the, way, by the way, this thread is just hilarious overall. Even if you guys don't believe the information, I still think it's worth a read just for the comedy of it. But somebody breaks down the image and apparently says, The card is terribly photoshopped. It's so horribly out of perspective that I can't believe anyone is falling for it. Proof is in the photo forensics. The card throwing up that much noise means that it's photoshopped. 
So if this image of the card's apparent um, forensics is real, then yeah, that definitely looks out of place. We can take a look at some other posts here too, which criticize the card for using a really old school Sonic design on a card for Sega in the now. You know, like it, it definitely is outdated, but the employee is saying that there are other employees there that have the same exact design on their card and it's something that's been used at Sega for a long time now. So a lot of this is kind of like raising red flags for everybody. And then somebody finds the motherfucking mother loom. <laughs> and this is where things get hilarious. So someone photoshops themselves with the card as well. And they're like, don't listen to the OP. He's a big fat phony. You can trust me though. I'm the big boss of Sega. Ask me anything. And it's got the same goddamn card with a picture of, I think, um, fucking Solid Snake or I'm, I'm, I'm not sure which snake it is, but it's Snake. Um, and this guy goes on even further to make another picture with the card on the table and it's big as hell this time with fucking Jackie Chan on it. And then he says, nice try, faggot. I'm the big boss of Sega, the real big boss. It's me, Jackie Chan. Here's my desk at Sega HQ in Japan with my card on it. Ask me anything. The card is really big because I'm the boss. <laughs> Don't worry, it's real. <laughs> we trust you, bro. You got a card that big? Yeah, you definitely are certified. You work at Sega, guaranteed. They would do some dumb shit like that to give the higher-ups bigger fucking ID cards. Yes, it makes perfect sense. So obviously, everything about this thread is legit, and you should believe everything that you read here 100%. If you can't tell I'm joking, get the fuck off my channel. Um, so we can go further down, and there's more proof that this thing is all fake. There was somebody who found out that uh, on a blog of apparently one of Sega's previous workers, she doesn't work there anymore, but on this blog, she actually posts a picture of her ID card, and funnily enough, it matches the exact perspective and proportions of this card, which was shown as the proof of the guy who made this thread in the first place. So how easy would it be to Photoshop a picture of yourself and mosaic it out horribly on this card with this reference point here, you know? I mean, it even has the same little outline scratch. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it looks like maybe like a little minor fold, but it has the same thing there. And if you look at the zip code, the 94103-4908. You can't really see it too well in this image. We'll probably have to zoom in for it, but if we open this in another, um, if we open this in another tab really quick, you guys can see that it's the exact same fucking number on this executive's card. I mean, and a lot of people are saying this is zip code, so I mean, maybe they could work in the, the same area potentially, but come on, what are the chances of that? I mean, although Sega's offices might just be located in the same place, so I guess the chances aren't too ridiculous as it seems, but it just seemed so weird to me that all the details of this card fit in line perfectly with this one. Um, and then you, you can see some photoshopping here. You see QA at the top when hers does, it doesn't say that, it says web. So they obviously work in different departments here, but the fact that this card has the same little outline here, I'm not sure if that's identification of the card itself or just something of, you know, too much wear and tear on the card in their pocket or something. But either way, guys, it looks like this is pulled from this. And you see, this is a whole blog of her life with, you know, with Sega and whatnot, her last day at Sega. So take it with a motherfucking grain of salt. I don't want you to send me this again. It's covered, okay? It's debunked at this point. We'll have to see some serious proof, and plus, the OP has not posted again since giving us that evidence and a couple of other fake posts, fake answers to the whole thing, so whatever. We've covered it all. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, I do have more streams planned. Just the, the holidays had a lot of stuff going on. This living room is usually used up for a lot of stuff in the daytime as well, so I mean, hey, either way, guys, you'll definitely be getting your more regular dosage of your motherfucking boy eventually, very soon. But um, look forward to that big project I've been working on. I put a lot of effort into that whole thing. I think you guys are going to like it. It's something that I'm extremely passionate about myself. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to wait and see. But I put a lot of effort into it. So anyways, guys, I'll see you later on. You are now filled in, I suppose, if you didn't know about this stuff already, as to what is making people talk right now. So hey, go with the information and debunk other people with it because this shit is fake, man. Except for this one. This one is definitely legit. You gotta have a big ass ID card if you're a higher up in Sega. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And if you find anything else interesting and you're wondering about whether it's real or not or you think it will pike my interest, definitely send it to me on Twitter, which is linked in the description. And I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.